Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. Welcome to another edition of Sparky Help. This time we're going to look at conjure between two fixed points using a through box for 90 degree bend with a set. So let's have a look, see what we're working with. There's our two fixed points. And our drawing said that the through box had to be 300 off the back wall. So let's, first of all, let's measure the back of bend to the edge of the box. So you can see there, that's about 460 mil, just short of. And um, that's going to sit on the back there, but the, it's going to sit in the through box and the conduit doesn't actually go back to the wall. It sits slightly away. How far away? Well, the distance of a spacer bar saddle, as you can see there. So we don't want to measure exactly to that, otherwise it will just be touching the wall and have slight bends. So you can see it's designed to thread through and sit on the saddle. And it's 300 from there, as the drawing showed us. So we'll use some conduit and we'll use ones we've already got threaded ends if we can. Saves a bit of work, so make sure the ends are clean, see the previous video, stick your fingers in, make sure that they're buzz and those couplers are tight. So we're going to measure minus the amount of the spacebar saddle. We're going to put the threaded end, oh sorry, the measured end into the bending machine facing you, line it up to the back of bend mark, see the previous video, make sure the stop is all sit properly, Bend it, look down the side, see if it's 90, if it's not, put a little bit more in. When you do, you can come up and put it up against the wall. I know it looks like it's not 90, but it actually is. And we're going to measure off the floor in this case. Measure up to that point, and there's our measurement. Minus the space bar. Now we want 300 off the back, so this time I'm just going to put a piece of conjure as a straight edge on the back, and then measure off of that conjure and we're going to measure to the centre of the box. I know we're going to thread into it, but we're going to take a measurement away. So I'm going to mark the 300, obviously minus the spacebar saddle. And that's where that's going to go. Now if we have a look now with that mark, when we offer up the box, I know that the measurement from the centre of the box to the end of thread is 35 mil, and it doesn't matter if it's a 25 mil or a 20 mil, and then cut and thread. So we're going to cut this off, get our stocks and dies, put some cutting grease onto it, and put enough thread so two to three threads stick past. And then using my cordless reamer. Never had to change batteries yet, make sure it's clean, stick your fingers in, and then stick your box on and make sure it is tight and no thread on show. So use the footprint, make sure it's go around in the correct orientation. Don't be tempted to unscrew it to go back, because what will happen is it will become loose, so you need to put a bit more thread, and then offer it back up and see if it all fits. Obviously what you could do on all of this, if you have just a piece of conduit, you could just pull a bend and then cut the conduit to size once it's all in. Uh, it might be easy if you're not 100% certain whether the bending machine is going to pull accurately. So we'll put some a bush in there, make sure it's tight, put your spacebar saddle top on, and secure the box into its position. So that would be the first piece done. Like so. So now let's have a look at the second piece. So we're going to work away from that same point. We're going to go to another box that's already a fixed point. So I'm going to measure from the box to the centre of our through box, and we're going to measure how much of a set we actually need. So I'm going to measure a back-to-back -back bend. So from the, what do I mean by that? Against the wall to the opposite side, so outside to outside bend, but I refer to it as a back of bend or a bob. So you can see there, that's approximately 50 mil. So I'm going to decide where my first set is, there's no set requirement on this, just make sure it's consistent. Um, you could use the stop and put the stop up against the coupler and then every one you ever pull then would be accurately the same. Um, but I'm going to use the mark and then it's going to bend from that, so this time the measured end goes in the opposite end and you pull a tiny amount in. And then you can just offer it up quickly, I'm doing this most awkwardly way possible. 
um, but just to give you an idea what you do, put a straight edge up and go 90 degrees to your straight edge, you can measure where you do the next bend. Obviously, the shallower the bend, the further away the next bend will be. And as you can see, I've done quite a tight bend to just do 50 mil. If we were doing 100 mil, that would be perfectly acceptable. But 50 mil, and the next bend is very close to the next one, and it's trying to fit it in because you need to get it back on that mark, and you see it doesn't quite fit. It's not to say it won't go, but it's a bit tight, and you'll be pay playing about with it. So this time what I'm going to do is take a little bit out of the original bend, and then do the same again. Offer up the 50 mil mark, mark that point, and then hopefully, and ideally, what you would then do is get, see it's sitting in the stop, it's sitting in the bend of the first one. That means it's always going to pull correct. Hopefully it's more or less on the uh, mark there. But you can always tweak it if that's what you wish to do. And then you pull the same bend you pulled before and then look down to see if it's all parallel. And hopefully if it is, then happy days. If it's not, you could be tweaking around for a while and then offer up against a straight edge. As you can see, we've got our 50 mil. Make sure it's all in line. If it's not, give it a tweak in the bending machine. And now we need to measure to the centre of the box. So there's our measurement. Going to mark the centre and then remember take our 35 mil off from there to give us end of thread. So we're going to cut the mark on the right hand side of this picture. So back on from ourselves. So cut and thread. There we go. Just to make sure 35 mil back. That's the one we're going to cut. Cut it again. Put it back in your stocks and dies and cut the thread onto it. Use our cordless reamer, stick your finger in, clean it all up, make sure all the burrs are clear and then screw it all back together. So take it off the wall so you can get it on, otherwise you're going to have to put a running coupler on. We'll cover that on another video. Again, make sure it is tight. It mustn't be loose. Remember, this could be used as your CPC and it actually would outperform most CPCs that you'd ever put in it because the cross-sectional area of steel is quite large. And then offer that back up. Put our first piece in up against there again. Put our coupler in, put our bush in, my apologies, put the bush in, put the saddle on, fix it all in location. And like I say, you know, you don't have to do this like this. You could just pull a bend and cut all those to, to suit rather than try to pull to bend measurements all the time. Making sure that it all fits and it doesn't, you know, it's not like a guitar string that if you, you know, took it all off, it's all going to spring back out of place again or you, the box is being warped and distorted to make sure it fits. So just make sure it all fits as you go along. The important thing is make sure all the bends are correct before you carry on the next piece. And there we go, making sure it's off the wall and not touching so it's consistent. So I hope you found that useful. This is Sparky Help. Thank you very much.